Hello guys, good morning. Uh, I have finally uh, done with my first service and my Lightning Green GT650 is very happy and it costed me around 3178 to be precise yeah and excluding cost of 1048 of the center stand uh, that is very essential for all the work to be done on gt650 so the total bill for the first service is three triple four uh no three triple two sorry so it's like what am i saying even the total service bill excluding uh the center stand is 3178 and the stand cost me around 1048 1048 so together the bill was 4222 yeah now i'm correct see i got injury to the head i don't know what i'm even speaking these days so yeah so let's go to the chain lubrication and chain cleaner process how we can uh, do and save the health of the chain sprocket so you can roll it up uh, for longer life yeah let's go please excuse my appearance i look so dirty and messy i know and sweaty uh, because i just came from the gym and i started uh, my workers from yesterday and it's going well i'm recovering thank you guys for uh, wishing me for the speedy recovery i love you everyone so the center stand for the gt650 has been installed and here we are going to uh, lubricate the chain sprocket using the center stand so it is very essential uh, even for punches and all the repair stuff this might be wondering which company is this this is uh, especially provided for royal enfield essentials uh, the service center itself so each one costs 95 i thought they are giving for free but no uh, it costs around 85 no each one is 95 rupees so yeah so it costs like 190 rupees it's okay to save your bike health first remember guys first you need to clean the chain with this chain cleaner cleanser so we are going to use this uh, and spray it around hope you can see it so keep rotating the wheel and you cannot put in the first gear and turn uh, it automatically because the bike has sensor so it cannot be moved when it's on the full stand or side stand so this is the way we clean the chain sprocket so we need to do it every 20 days once so at least i am doing it uh, for the first service for now uh, don't take out the bike uh, for a few minutes after lubrication because it may get dirty and my bike is already dirty around because so the cleanser has been uh, lubricated I mean spread around the sprocket of the chain and the thing is we need to wait for more five minutes uh, to settle it and it will be removing the all dirt and wait for the five minutes then we will be spraying the lubrication of the chain this is the chain lubricant and just take out this spray tube which is connected and just put it in and you are good to go so we have already waited for five minutes and it's almost dried so Hope you can see now it's almost dried and we are good to go with the chain lubricant i'm spraying it And that's it guys we have 
well lubricated the sprocket and we can roll on the roads after few minutes and it is very well and you can smoothly ride uh, please keep lubricating the chain and this going to help the health of the chain sprocket and hope this video has been helped you guys how to clean the chain sprocket and lubricate it so people were asking me why you are doing only bike videos and bike vlogs whatever the fitness and even food videos uh, i'm receiving lots of dm i'm very sorry about that guys the problem is i am in my native in uh, Warangal, so i am taking rest because uh, i gone through a lot of medical condition as i told you my discs got herniated and my nerve compression on the left leg and uh, anxiety issues i'm on some medications so i have been recovered well and i started even the gym yesterday so i will be uh, trying to do uh, uh, the videos of the fitness as soon as possible and keep waiting for that and love you guys for all the support please uh, do me a favor by uh, hitting a like button and share and subscribe so i will be providing uh, a good content for you guys which will be helpful and uh, i promise you i'll be providing even food videos as when i go back to the hyderabad and i'm moving to the other place uh, to the hyderabad so lots of things and stuff to do and i need to set up the new studio for the food blogging food blogging is uh, very tough uh, for the motor vlogs and fitness you can uh, put the gopro or uh, any uh, mobile phone anywhere and then you can randomly shoot it but for the uh, food videos, you need the crisp uh, lighting and uh, good presentations. So hope you understand. And please subscribe, guys. I'm telling you this one more time because it's very important for me. So, yeah. Take care. Bye-bye.